Yeah, so, okay. Um, so, Yart, my buddy of mine, uh, he made a video playing uh, Undead Line for the first time. Of course, he just, you know, downloaded it. But, uh, I figured, eh, I should make a video of myself playing it, just for whatever. But, Undead Line, here's the cart. I'm stuck in my, uh, uh, ghetto drive, I like to call it. Yeah, it's just a, it's just your basic Mega Drive, but um, I got it for like a dollar, maybe it was five dollars. Yeah, about that much, and because it was sold as junk and broken, basically like the little plastic part was broken, so it wouldn't power on. But if you just do it manually, open up, opened it, it works just fine. So uh, yeah, nice little Mega Drive and. Great game, so, um, so yeah, I got this bottle of champagne for my job for Christmas, and I totally forgot about it. There's this Fregzenet, I don't know, it's from Spain, can't read that crap. Mm. <sighs> mm. Not a big champagne drinker, but this isn't too bad, a little sweeter than I like, but champagne goes well on this line. Undead Line is... It's a work of art. You know, very few games manage to achieve what Undead Line is. It's about as hard as you possibly can get, but at the same time still be 100% playable, 100% awesome. It's the kind of game that's just like... It'll kick your ass over and over again... So you'll turn to alcohol, kind of like I am now. Mm. But at the same time, you can never blame the game for dying, because the game is incredibly fair. In fact, it even gives you a little bit of help. Like, if you kind of pick up a new weapon and die, presumably from picking up the wrong weapon, you start with the weapon... Well, you can basically get the weapon you had back at full power just by picking it up once. The game is actually very lenient and very forgiving. It's just a game that a lot of people tend to hate because it's, uh, well, you know, like for example, the health restoring potion appears, and if you manage, and if you shoot it once, it switches to a potion that actually hurts you. So the game demands perfection. And literally, some of the weapons are kind of useless or at least only really useful in very specific circumstances. So naturally, the best weapon is kind of the hardest to get. It's a wonderful, wonderful fucking game. And typically I drink beer, but... Uh, good beer in Japan kind of gets expensive. I like Japanese beer, but... Mm, it's not good enough to for Undead Line. Undead Line is a game that just deserves better. It's just such a perfect, perfect game. It demands celebration. And, of course, champagne is the drink for celebration. So, uh, yeah. And let's take the TV off of mute here. Ugh. Now, this is actually a remake. Original, as far as I can tell, was the MSX version, which I have not been able to track down yet. And then there was a Sharp 68000 version, and finally on the Mega Drive here, which, uh... Now, I'll probably never play the Sharp version, just because I have no desire to mess around with the 68K. just don't have the space, nor the patience for that kind of system. I would like the MSX one, though. <sighs> yeah, the music's really good. Okay. Let's play this. So, let's turn on Turbo, which it already is on, so I was playing it earlier. Now, you can do the levels in any order, which adds a lot of strategy, because the game is very, very ranked. The bosses get take a lot more punishment if you do them later. But, I'm just going to start in the beginning, because I'm probably not going to make it too far today. But yeah, the game is, uh, in a way, very, you know, reminiscent of 
King's Knight, that really, really bad Square game on NES and Famicom and MSX that just about everybody hates. Probably just was a terrible game. And that line is awesome. So you have a little shield that can actually, you know, absorb bolts from the front. Not from the sides or back, but from the front, you can absorb them. And it even extends outside of your little protective barrier that you can get, that I've currently got. So, you can actually box shots without, you know, worrying about that, about wasting your barrier. But your barrier can absorb three bullets for one collision. But yeah, like if you see in the, in the lower right hand corner, those are my options. They're kind of like the super bomb of the game. When you use one, it just, you know, it rotates around you and really quickly and hurts everything it touches and, you know, clears off the bullets. The trick, though, is that you only get three of them for the entire game. They are never restored. The only way to get more of them is to get game over and continue. So if you're going for a one credit, which you should be, then you've got to do it on only three of them. Dun, 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 dun. Now, these little fairies are actually how you level up. Yeah, I'm gonna play this till I either oops, got hit. So I either die completely or the camera battery dies. Fun way to do it. Kill these little gun things. And the boss will come. Oops, too close. In this game, it's very important to point blank enemies. Cause my, you know, my little, my spread shot throwing daggers are a very nice weapon, but they're pretty weak, power-wise. Mm. I haven't been able to beat this game yet. It's getting close. So then you can level up, though. It's really just speed, and, like, strength, magic, they just affect, they just power up to different weapons. Now let's do rock. This is a pretty easy level. Well, the level's challenging. The boss is pretty simple. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, this is, you're either, I don't know, I really, really love this game. Honestly, I think it's probably my favorite Mega Drive shooter. It's just so much shit on the screen that's thrown at you at once, but at the same time, Dumb. The game is extremely playable, like, at the beginning it seems really hard, but once you know what all the items do, and... It becomes really playable, and... Oh shit, that was dumb. Can't die on the stage, stage is easy. So yeah, if you do die, you go back to the beginning of the level. You have to do the entire stage on one life. There's also one one-up on every single stage, but it only appears once. So if you die and do the level over again, you do not get it back. So it would be replaced with a normal item. It's a wonderfully designed game. Shame this one never got released out of Japan. Duck, duck, duck. So much shit, but so much fun. 
trying to do it. Cool. Actually, I should have gone for the health. The shield's kind of useless because you can't keep it between weapons or between levels. But this boss is awesome, but stupidly easy. Because all you got to do is stand here, and he just has the one attack. Both hands will use this attack, but as long as you keep shooting, you know, the shots, the other doesn't actually get used. So, pretty easy boss. Probably a level you should, that you should save for the second half of the game. Because of the rank, but... Ah, fuck it. Man, this is all you do in this boss, really. Rip and die. Woohoo! Champagne time. Now, last year my boss gave me a two liter bottle of champagne. But there were a lot, but we had less teachers. This year we got like double the staff, so we only get one liter bottles. Ha! That's a job for you. Uh, more, some more agility. Actually, give me a little more strength. Okay. Let's do the cemetery. Your graves and I resurrect you, ghosts. Shit. Bang. It's my Mega Drive or Ghetto Drive, as I like to call it. Scrolls down to a crawl. Oh, bum. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I like that little ping sound it makes in every if you block a shot with your shield. Satisfying little sound. Woo! Back up to full health. Alright, mini boss is really, really easy as long as you don't stop moving. Because lightning were exactly where you're standing. Well, you just move back and forth and shoot at him. It is badass though, man. This is a game for men. How long will the camera batteries last? That is the question of the day. Full health, so I need this barrier. I don't think I need it though. 
Some champagne when we get to the golf. Mm. That was almost a bit empty. I can't really drink it too much. I just sip it. It's just sweet for my taste. Dun, 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 dun. Die, you stupid zombies. Alright, the Lich. I love this boss. It's pretty easy as long as you don't do anything too drastic. And you keep your finger ready to the shield button. Yeah, his big his shadow that engulfs you, of course, hurts you. It can take a while, though. My weapon's kind of weak, and... I can only get so many shots in. Dun, 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 dun. I like when he goes crazy like that. Uh, should do a real capture of this one, but oops, I can't actually capture a Mega Drive video yet. Well, I could, but I'd have to use. I'd have to play in composite, which I can't personally stand. The Mega Drive composite looks like shit. I bought a nice RGB cable from a cool Japanese dude named Lunacy. Cable's a rock. So I'll probably get it, but since I've got my slightly broken Mega Drive anyway, I don't really ever play it the case on. Probably add a composite video jack to that, and I can do Mega Drive captures off of that. I just can't stand playing in composite. Mega Drive is to awful. And he goes down! I am only playing on normal, though. There's also a crazy setting, which is like, well, it's crazy. Mmm. Huh? Oop, I farted. We didn't hear that. Uh, let's do the drain. Drain's fairly easy. As long as you don't... I mean, the drain, the water actually, there's actually a current and pushes you back. Not as long as you don't panic too bad. Not that bad, especially at this point, because I've got so much speed upgrade. I mean, graphically, the game's not really that special. There's some parallax in a couple stages, like the cave, but not a lot, but the game does push a lot of shit up in the screen at once. I mean, this is probably about as close to bolt as real to real bullet hell as the Mega Drive gets. And just, you know, in my experience, I'm far from a Mega Drive expert, though. Gunship thing. You want to stay to the left of it. Being on the right is a bad idea. Give me a while to realize that. Well, you can actually kill all these little. Spear shooting things, you can. Yeah! You can actually destroy them. Yeah, this is one of those games that just, once you get your groove going, you can get pretty far on it without even getting hit. But when, you, but when you first start playing it, you probably die a lot. Alright. Boss time. The slime monster in the sewer, baby. Badass meters. 
Yeah, this boss is pretty easy because he really has one pattern. It's just, you know, he, he shoots out little slime and turns this giant tentacle monster thing at you. He is just not to get overwhelmed and be prepared to move. Ah, shit, I collided with the barrier. Crap. That's not good. Then again, this boss doesn't actually shoot bullets, so any hit would lose my barrier anyway. I'd rather lose the barrier than my actual health, I suppose. Ah, fucker. In a bad position. But yeah, the more you actually damage him, the more sh shit that he fires at you. Well, the little slimes break off. Come on, asshole. Calling you out, man. Not raping any more schoolgirls. Giant tentacle piece of shit. Let's go! Asshole. Fuck. Pausing champagne. <sighs> mm. Well, bottle's empty. Let's do this. Of course, now with this shitty ass dagger again. It really, really sucks. It's not only the terrible, it doesn't even power up. Like, literally, you can pick it up as many times as you want. It never, ever gets any stronger. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, crocodiles. Crocodiles, get out of my suit. I ran into a suit. Really good. Let's get back to full power! Sewer ghost monster things. Stop shooting at me, I can't shoot you yet! Ah! I didn't really like the smell, but you can it wasn't too bad. I mind the bottle of it. What if I called my boss, he'd you know, run out the store, get me one and deliver it. Eh, probably not. Fortunately, managers in real life just aren't. What? That counted? Shit. The thing in this game is once I start dying, I just tend to keep dying. It's one of those games that you either got it or you don't. And once you lose the momentum... So yeah, I already lost my barrier, man. Once you lose the, the groove, you lose it. Uh, I can't drive a fucking drain. Drain! an oversized toilet with a giant... Ah! See, now it's normal chest. You can only get one one up per stage. Alright, bitch. It's revenge time. Giant piece of ass snot. Yeah, it's hard to do a lot of damage to this boss. At a given time. I 
How dare you use my whip, my strong points against me? What? That counted? I thought I was north of it. Ah, well. Okay, I never hear that little goo sound. You gotta move your ass! Oh, shit, no sound. I don't know why I decided to move back into it. So I think the key to this boss is just being patient. It's tempting just to, you know, run in there and do what you can. And that's generally how I get hit. You're patient. Ah! Fucker. I do not want to do this level again. You're patient, he's not that hard. It's this weapon anyway. Weapon's pretty much required for his slime scattering pattern. powers are still, or the battery's still working. He dies by now. Strength. Well, we got two levels left. And I suck at both of these. So, mm, let's go with the ruins, because the ruins at least is more fun to play. So if I, you know, die a lot, I'll die. This level is a total Splatterhouse ripoff, tribute, whatever you want to call it. And you can actually you can dive through those windows. Still, it's an awesome level, I love it. Oops, missed my barrier. But the boss is really hard, probably the hardest in the game, at least in my opinion. I will not be surprised if he kills me half a dozen times. You know, he's just mean. Play Mega Drive games. Play this one. It's awesome. There goes the floor. <laughs> now a lot of people like to use the flame on this particular boss, but I always get myself killed before I get to full power, and it's only useful at full power. 